I'm Debbie and welcome to my channel Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for October 9th, 10th, and 11th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for my Pisces. Hello my Pisces, how are you? I'm kind of getting a little jazzed up for your weekend. Yeah, let's see what's going to happen. I feel excited. I feel like this is a like, I feel like your energy is all like, yeah, let's get this done. Anyway, you know that I'm using my two Radley Valentine decks, Angel Tarot, for the main message. And then I will pull one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I've prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy. Remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. Three cards are face up, down. Now, the first one kind of flipped out a little bit. It didn't flip over, but it kind of was like, take me, take me. So, we have three cards face down. The second and third reversed, stronger energy. I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power, whatever the message is. I don't have to understand it. I just have to deliver it. Anyway, let's see what you have for the weekend, my Pisces. I feel, I feel kind of like, oh, yes, here we go. Here we go. Anyway, the Ten of Fire. Oh, are you busy? You are just so busy. What are you getting ready for? Are you getting ready for, you know, you're, you're, it's, it's, you're, you're getting ready for the banquet. You're getting ready for the opening. You're getting ready for the, you know, the, the grand premiere. You're getting ready. You're getting ready. You're getting ready. Now, Tens are transitional. So it's like, you know, like something's about to open up. Something's about to uh, move for you. Um, fire energy is our Sagittarius, our Aries, our um, Leo, passionate, burning, determined. This, you are, this is busy work. This is a busy weekend for you, my Pisces. But again, it's like, you know, there's passion involved. There's, you've been wanting this. And it's like, you know, again, getting ready, getting ready. Got to get this ready. Okay, hey, over there. You know, can you please make sure that this is done? Is the food ready? It's kind of like, is this an open house? Is this a party? Is this, you know, is this a, and I go, I go back to that banquet. It, you know, it's like you're gathering people and you're kind of um, providing for them at the same time. It's that type of energy, okay? But it does wear me out a little bit. So my Pisces, make sure you get your rest, okay? Make sure when you get to sleep, you take your eight hours. Make sure you're doing, you're eating right and you're drinking your fluid, okay? Take care of you and you'll be able to take care of all of this, okay? Okay. Too much work, except help from others. Life is out of balance, stress-related, health concerns. Again, take care of yourself during this because there is so much momentum going on here. There's so much energy going on here, and you just want to do it all. You can't do it all. You do need to have some help. Okay, this one is reversed. Here we go. The world, things opening up for you. Archange, Archangel, Archangel, oh my goodness, Michael. Archangel Michael is the, you know, warrior, the protector, the one that's going to get out in front and just kind of slay your dragons and kind of say, come on, Pisces, I got this for you. So, you know, so this, but the world also means something big's opening up. So this weekend, again, you know, there, even though this is transition and there's a lot of work, there's also a lot of reward for this hard work. Things opening up for you. Anyway, a job well done. Joy, contentment, and gratitude, the path towards enlightenment. I've been loving your readings too. You know, so my, you know, my Pisces, like, you know, you you've been working so, so hard. Sometimes you've had a couple of, you know, setbacks, but you still have been facing forward. Anyway, your last card reversed. Here we go. Awakening. Awakening. Now, this is Archangel Gabriel. Now, Archangel Gabriel is the divine messenger. He's also, you know, he's the heavenly messenger. The one that also brings you words of encouragement, words of wisdom, okay? So, and the awakening is kind of like, you know, look at things a little differently. Don't get, you know, because I can feel you, my Pisces, kind of like it, it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to turn out with. But no, it turned out even better. But, you know, you're looking at the little details. You're looking at which were needed, which were needed, and you're not seeing the bigger picture, okay? So whatever this is, you know, again, is this a banquet? Is this a major wedding? Is Well, not ma a wedding is major in any way, but is this a wedding? Is this an opening, a grand opening? 
is this um, you just, you know, not, I shouldn't say just, but you stepping out of your total comfort zone into some sort of a new opportunity, what, you know, whatever it's, don't look, don't look at the small details, okay? Look at the bigger picture. Anyway, look at things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. So whatever, again, remember, get your rest. And when all of this comes together, enjoy. Enjoy the time. You've been working hard for this. Okay? It just feels very much, it feels very much like door, you know, like doors opening and come in, come in, come in. So let's go on. Okay, here we go. Two cards. I think it's two cards. Yep. Oh, I love these. Two cards face up and they kind of plopped out. Anyway. You have the Knight of Raphael. Raphael is your energy. It is also Cancer and Scorpio. Fluid, emotional knights are getting into it now. The only, this is, you, you, like I said, whatever, this grand opening, come in, come in. You know, there's, you have put your heart and soul into making something happen. Uh, you know, and you are just so ready for things to just, move and continue but remember you did get the world so things moving you did it okay nights again directional but uh, you know I, there is a lot of um you know you just want everything to be just so perfect remember remember archangel gabriel's like don't sweat the small i guess that's the thing don't sweat the small stuff okay because the big thing looks good anyway romantic dramatic poetic introspective Committed romantic relationships being swept off your feet. Situations or topics that make your heart flutter. And your last card that came out, we started with the Ten of Fire and we end with Ten of Ariel. Now, this is Earth energy. Again, there's transition with that Ten. Earth is Capricorn. We've got all those planets in Capricorn, but they're going direct. Then it's also um, Taurus and Virgo, solid, something, someone you can touch. Money, money, opportunity, something to do with family. This is this is a wonderful way for the weekend. It's like all of this effort, all of this that you've been doing, it, it all comes together and it very successfully too. Anyway, there is so very much to there is so very much to be grateful for. Financial success and the promise of retirement, a rich and rewarding family life. So I do love how it started with the 10, it ends with the 10. It starts, you know, that you have your fire, you have your um, water, you have your earth energy, you have your archangel energy. There, you know, I, I do feel very, I do feel like, again, a lot of work for you. But again, the main thing is don't sweat the small stuff, okay? Because it really works out well. Anyway, my Pisces, remember my button. Please like, please share, please subscribe. As always, my Pisces, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.